Hello and welcome to DPN TV here at the DPN Car Collection and I thought I'd do this little video on sorting out the problem we've got with the adjustable mirror switch not working. Uh, we know it's not the mirrors because both mirrors are acting the same way basically down works fairly well uh, right and left not so good and up is uh, working um, barely at all uh, initially I thought the switch was right underneath these uh, buttons but uh, doing a little bit of research I found out it's not and um, what I had been doing was putting a little bit of contact cleaner down rocking them about and that did seem to help a little bit but I now know it's unlikely that helped and probably it was the rocking about that helped and as I understand the way these switches are done are actually like a television remote control I don't know if you've ever took to bits a uh, TV remote control and cleaned it but basically these buttons are part of one big rubber member Membrane, and under that is a circuit board and uh, the little buttons have like a uh, special little contact that touches the relevant bits on the circuit board uh, makes a um, through contact and the buttons work well it seems like that's how they built um, this whole switch so what we're going to do is uh, take it to bits and give it a clean and uh, you can do this with your remote control as well uh, you split them apart and with something like isoprobe or alcohol is clean the circuit board and the rubber buttons and uh, it normally does help them to uh, to work so that's what we're going to try with um, this uh, what it should do is gently prise out of this surrounding what we're going to use is um, the usual good old plastic trim tools and slowly lever it around and uh, get it out that is the uh, case just uh, a nice little gentle trim tool and uh, it's a case of levering it gently round I've levered it all the way around now and uh, then you should be able to reach in and uh, just pull it out like that and um, leave it to the side and you can see you've got two plugs each end to remove i'm imagining one set is for the uh, electric mirrors and the other is for the electric windows the electric windows seem to be working fine but a good clean out will certainly be worth doing so i'm going to unplug those uh, two plugs as you can see one's white and uh, one's black so uh, hopefully you shouldn't get them in the wrong place either so that's the plugs out and if I just move that out the way uh, this white one just pulls out and the black one's got those two little clips on the side you can either squeeze or uh, what I did is use the plastic trim tool and uh, just pushed it in and uh, teased it out so now it's um, going to be um, going into the um, workshop and uh, taking it to bits and starting the clean Right, so we're now in the uh, workshop and as you can see we've got it uh, out and uh, it comes in at two halves. There's the top half and then the bottom half that lets us get to the circuitry. I think technically you don't need to take the top half off but it does let you give it a, a good little clean. Uh, and as you can see it's these little plastic clips so it's a, a case of simply getting your plastic trim tool in and gently levering all the way around uh, until you've got those clips off so that's what I'm going to do uh, now and what I'll probably also do is go around and uh, undo the bottom part of this case and again it's a series of little plastic clips clipping into the outer plastic casing Right, so as hopefully you see, I steadily tease the plastic round, I'm doing those uh, clips and uh, now the um, top part of the buttons are off. As I said, we technically didn't need to take that top bit off, but it's a good chance to give it all a, a clean round so we can clean both those parts. And uh, the good thing is it is, um, as uh, I'd expected and researched, that it is like a television remote control, um, basically I've got this um, 
TV remote control to a uh, hand and as I said like when you push all those buttons they're on a membrane uh, through to a circuit board that's how this is here's the uh, little membrane and uh, here's the circuit board underneath so to me almost identical to our television remote control works and I'll show you that quickly because I'm going to use this as an opportunity to clean that up and uh, you could always do the same so what we do is clean this circuit board out of a nice little bit of isoprobe alcohol and uh, some cotton buds and also clean into um, all of the as I said little contacts on this uh, rubber membrane and uh, hopefully that will improve the way it works right so now it's time to clean all the uh, bits that we want to we've got some isoproba alcohol in the top of an old spray can lid um, a nice sort of soft microfiber cloth and what I normally use is some uh, little cotton buds as well and before we start cleaning it up as I was saying um, they're very similar inside to me to a television remote control and uh, what I've done is split this one apart and you'll see you've got the membrane there with your buttons on and the circuit board so uh, you can see that um, it's very similar there's the membrane and circuit board and that's the same on the television remote control it's also the way you can clean these and we've done that very successfully which is what gives us hope for the confidence that this fix will help um, those mirror switches to work better and possibly even the electric window switches as well Right, so what I've also done with this little bit before I start cleaning with the isoprobe alcohol is just gently blown all that dust out that I've built up in there with a little bit of compressed air, really just to make it a little bit easier for me to clean it out. And if I turn it upside down, you can see that when you're rocking the switches, they're pushing that little bit of rubber plastic down uh, one side or the other uh, onto the membrane and down onto the circuit board and you can also see the rocker switch um, there from above and how it operates that so yeah actually uh, quite clever but also um, sort of a very well used technology in uh, television remote controls it seems so I'm going to get on now with just uh, cleaning everything up Right, so hopefully you've seen a sped up bit of footage of us uh, slowly going round and uh, clean up all those contacts with a cotton bud and uh, a piece of cloth. Um, even with the speed of that bit of footage, I then went on to do a lot more cleaning even after that. But um, we've got all that dirt out and cleaned everything up. And although I actually didn't look as dirty as I thought, if you look at these cotton buds, uh, there's quite a bit of dirt on those. Um, and even though there's a little bit more dirt from the plastic, you'd be surprised how dirty they were just from cleaning up the rubber and the contacts. So hopefully that is going to make a difference. Now it's a case of the reverse order of putting it all back together. So that's what we're going to do now. Right, so that's it all back together, as you see, I hope from the speed of that footage, it went back together fairly straightforward, and I've checked all the plastic clips are back, and the only thing we did leave out was this button, so uh, I had to go back and uh, get that one back in, and uh, what I've also done whilst we were filming that is um, done the same to this television remote control, so yeah, hopefully that was um, of you showing that remote control to show you just how, to me, it's put together like a tv remote and also uh, it's well worth cleaning your remote if you're having any problems because it normally cures that as well and this one we regularly do uh, probably uh, once a year perhaps a bit even more and it just makes it work back better again hopefully you won't have to do that with this because um, it's uh, a little bit more sealed in there so hopefully that sort of fix will last uh, a little bit longer than that now it's time to get it back in the car Right, so what I've done is uh, plugged it 
back in but before we push it back into the trim I wanted to make sure that it would uh, work and um, so I've left it out and uh, yeah it seems to be working well. all the mirror switches work um, and uh, also all of the um, window switches work as well uh, if I just pull it shut a little bit you can see that red light is symbolizing that the uh, driver's mirror is the mirror that's select and if we come up here to the uh, mirror you'll see that um, when I push it to go uh, up it goes up it goes down side to side as uh, well so that does seem to have uh, cured the problem so we're certainly very very pleased with uh, that all i've got to do is push it back down into the uh, trim and that's that job done it's certainly going to make it easier when you want to uh, adjust the mirrors yeah so all the buttons are working as you can see um you can Put the child uh, lock on at the back for the windows as well hopefully that um, has helped you if you've got a problem with your um, mirror control switch not working very well uh, a simple clean out like that has certainly solved it um, in our case and there's a good chance it might do in yours as always thank you very much for watching don't forget to check the other videos on the channel look at our instagram and twitter pages as well and all the links are on our youtube homepage.